Hey guys, another Ray Dev here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a hat giver and hat remover. Um, so, basically, how this works is you have your hat remover right here. You can hold R. You can see that everything that goes on your face, your hats, your hair, your face accessories, it all gets removed. Um, so, it's basically like clear face accessories. And. Um, then you can also have the hair and hat face accessory givers right here. So you can put, you can hold, you can go up to these little heads with the hairstyles on them. You can hold E, and you can see that it goes on your head, um, just like that. And you can even wear multiple of them at one time. And then you can, of course, go in the head and the remove um, hat and remove it. So it's very, very simple. And, um, all the timestamps will be in the description. Um, and yeah, that's it. So uh, check out all my social medias in the description and on the screen right up right now on the top of the screen. And see you guys in the video. Bye. All right, guys. I'm Emma basically here, and we are going to go ahead and get started on the hat giver. So what we can do is in the plugins tab, we can open up rig builder plugin, and we can insert a block rig, just like that. We have our little dummy here. And you're going to delete everything in the dummy except the humanoid in the head. So that way, when we're, you need the humanoid so that the hair will go onto the head. Um, um, the accessory head, I guess. And we're going to have the head here. We're going to be doing hat accessories. So the accessories are going to be on the hair. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold E. And it's going to put the accessories on our face or hair or something wherever on our head so that's why we have the head here because we're doing head accessories and then keep the humanoid so the hair goes on it okay and um you can go ahead and name the dummy to hat giver i guess and you can in the humanoid you can do um display distance to none so that way you don't see this hat giver text right here there we go so that's invisible and what you could do, if you want, is you can create a little table um, for the uh, hats to be on. I'm going to create a little table right here. Alright, so you can get your head and move it onto the table. And, uh, make the table a bit smaller. Alright, and um, what you can also do is you can create... Um, and can insert a cylinder. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we can go ahead and move the head up. And we're going to move our um, headstand, or whatever you want to call it, under the head. Alright, just like that, we have our little headstand. And, um, yeah, and we can go ahead and anchor both of these parts, um, and as well as the table, of course. We can anchor all the parts we just uh, made, um, and make sure to anchor the head as well. Um, and you can go ahead and move the little, so I can go ahead and name this table so you can just keep track. And uh, this right here to stand. All right, and you can move the stand into the head, just like that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we are going to um, insert an accessory that we're hat giver is going to give us. So you can go ahead and open up Roblox and go to the avatar shop up here, and we're going to find a something, just something, anything that goes on your head that will work. So I was going to get this beautiful hair for beautiful people. And what you can do is on the top of the link here, you can see a random batch of numbers. And that's called the asset ID. So you're going to go ahead and copy that. And you can go ahead and you're going to use that for uh, inserting the hat. So what we're going to do is we can go ahead and go to the view tab. And if you haven't already opened it, you're going to want to go ahead and open up that command bar. 
So you're gonna go to view tab and open up the command bar. All right, so now what we can do is in the command bar down here, you can see it says run a command. That's the command bar. You can do game colon get service. And we're going to get insert service. And then we're going to do colon load asset. And we're going to load um, the asset ID that we just copied. And then we can do dot parent is going to be equal to workspace. Just like that. Now you can see when you did that, a little model appeared in the um, in the Explorer tab here. And you can open it up and you're gonna see your accessory. So what you can do is you can just drag the accessory into the hat giver. And you can see that the hat giver is now wearing that accessory. And you can go ahead and delete the model because it's useless now. And there we go. Now we have our, our accessory the hat but you can also duplicate it and in server storage we can add in a folder rename it to accessories and um, I hope I spelled that right we're going to cut uh, one of the hairs or I can copy the hair and we can paste it into accessories because this is how we're gonna put it on the player uh, we're going to add in a part so this is where we're going to be able to hold E and it's going to give us the hat that's good, just like that. We can go ahead and set the transparency of it to 1, so it's invisible. We can also anchor it. Anchor it, just like that. And cast shadow and can collide. can also go to false. can um, be set to false, so there's no shadow and you can walk through it. And of course, you can go ahead and move it um, to... I'm going to name it to prompt prompt block and then you can go ahead and move it to um, the head all right so in the prompt block we can add in the proximity prompt and we can go ahead and set the action text of it to where just like that uh, and make sure clickable prompt and enabled are well enabled and you can set the hold duration for 0.5 seconds and you can set the control that you want it to be so for mine it's going to stay e they're going to hold e for 0.5 seconds and then we're going to go be able to clear the hatch so if you walk up to here um you can say you can see it says e is aware so we can hold e and nothing happens because we haven't coded it yet so we're going to code it to where uh, on our head to put it on our head all right so in the proximity prompt you can go ahead and add in the script and then we're going to code to give us the hair so we can delete the print hello world and we can do script dot parent dot triggered from connect function and we're going to set the parameter to player plr just like that so all we can do is player um the local local character local char is going to be equal to player um dot character like that Player, local character equals to player dot character, and we can also set a variable for the accessories. Well, for that, we can also we can delete all the spaces in the accessory to make it easier to script, just like that. So if your accessory has any spaces, uh, make sure to get rid of them. You don't have to, but it makes it much easier. So local um, uh, here, I guess, is going to be equal to game dot server storage dot ultra. Uh, and the accessories dot ultra fabulous here colon clone so then what we can do is we're going to go ahead and clone the hair right here and we're going to set the parent of it now so hair dot parent is going to be equal to character so our character so it's going to be appearing on our head so you can see this is all my accessories i have on we can go e and you can see another one that's added you can see my hair sticking out you can see that ultra fabulous hair was added here. So if I delete my hat accessories, okay, so I'm bald now, I look kind of weird. Uh, you can see um, that if I go over to the head, I hold E, that the hair appears on my head, just like that. So now I'm just gonna create another one just for fun. So it's basically the same thing. Um, I already got the uh, accessory. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go into Roblox and get 
Uh, this error, I guess, and copy this one's password ID. I can go ahead and replace it with the old one, like that. And I can just go ahead and insert it. See the model here. You can move it into the accessories tab. And we can go ahead and duplicate it and move it into the new hat giver. We can also remove the um, the other hair from this one, like that. And in server storage, we can go ahead and rename the hair to have no spaces. And in the script of this one, all we're gonna do is in the proximity prompt, uh, we can go ahead and uh, change the name of the hair. So we can do red, what was it called? Long hair. So long hair. Um, and we can just replace this. And now that's all we need to do to create another hair. So it's just going to duplicate that one instead of the other one. If I try it, and then I can wear this one. And I'm going to delete all my accessories. Alright, so you can see I can wear this one right here. And I can also wear this one right there. So it'll be perfect. It's working. Alright, so for the hair remove, uh, we're going to create um, another one of these. Um, because if you come here for the timestamp, then you probably don't know how we got these. So what we can do is we can um, insert a dummy. Um, and so we can do that by going to the plugins tab, rig builder, inserting a block rig. And we can go ahead and rename it to the dummy uh, to hatch remove. Alright, so you can delete everything in the dummy except for the head and the humanoid. And so now I just have a floating head named Hat Remove. And in Humanoid, we can go ahead and click the display distance to none. That way you can't see where it says Hat Remove. And this one doesn't need to be on the stand because it's just the head to remove it. So it doesn't need to be on the stand because there's going to be no hair dangling down like this one has. So uh, we have our little head right here. And what we can do is we can just go ahead and in the head we can go ahead and add in a part and we can go ahead and anchor and we can go ahead and move it to be directly above the head just like that so it's about the same height as this one and we can set the transparency of it to blue one so it's completely invisible and we can also um, anchor the head and the part that we just added in. Alright, so now that we're done with that, we can go ahead and add in a proximity prompt to the part in the head. So we're going to rename this to prompt block and we can go ahead and add in a proximity prompt. And we can also customize this proximity prompt. So keyboard control is going to be E um, and we can, we're going to want to hold it for 0.5 seconds. Actually, the keyboard control is going to be R for remove. There we go. And I'm also going to set the action action. So I'm also going to set the action text to remove um, hair, just like that. And in the proximity prompt, we can now add in a script. All right. So now what we can do is script dot parent dot triggered and we're going to connect function and we're going to get player plr like that so local character equals player dot character and let's like that so now what we're going to do is we're going to create a for loop and we're going to um we're going to get everything inside of the character so um, for, um, key, comma, object, in pairs, and we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a few for loops actually in the script. So we're going to do char, colon, get children, children, and we're going to do, just type do, just like that. Also, don't forget to add in another uh, parentheses right here. Alright, so now down here, what we can do is, so is object, so we're checking if the object is an accessory, colon, is a, and in parentheses, quotation marks, we're going to get, if it's an accessory, 
just like there, just like that. Um, so if it's an accessory, then we're going to do local access. Sorry, accessory is going to be to object. All right, and so we can do local handle is going to be equal to object colon um, find first child and we're going to just get handle so basically all we're doing right now is making sure that um, whatever we're deleting whatever we're going to be deleting is actually a um, an accessory but now we don't want to delete all the accessories so we're going to be making sure that it's a head accessory so that's what we're going to do right now so you can do for i comma be in pairs we're going to get the handle Oops. in pairs we're going to get the handle handle colon get children just like that and do and then we're going to make sure that it's a head accessory so we're going to check for the name of the accessory you might be asking how do we do that simple so we're going to be checking the name of it so so if we open up the head of the dummy here um you'll notice two things one he has no brain and two that he has a bunch of attachments in here now we're not going to worry about the neck attachment, all we're going to be getting are the face and hair and hat attachments because these are how accessories are attached to the head and if they have an attachment in them that's named um, one of these things right here that means it's a head accessory and it goes on your head and that's what we're going to be removing. So if v.name is equal to hat attachment so we can just do is copy this one right here, hat attachment, or v dot name is equal to. I'll show the lowercase v, not capital. If v dot name is equal to hair attachment, like that, or v dot name is equal to face front attachment, and. So, so it's just a lot of ors. So, or v uh, v dot name is equal to face center attachment. <laughs> just like that. Um, and we're gonna do and v colon is a and we're going to make sure that it's an attachment attachment just like that um then <laughs> that's a lot i know that's a lot so we're basically making sure that if it's named any of these things and it's an, also an attachment um then we're going to do accessory colon destroy accessory colon destroy just like that so if we go ahead and test it um, you can see if we go to the hat remove, and I hold R, you can see all my hat accessories are gone. And I can go ahead and wear these again. And then I can go ahead and reset my hair with this one right here. So you can see it deletes all my hat accessories. So that's perfect. So if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, check out all my social medias um, in the description. And... I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!